Good morning, everyone. Can we get a huge round of applause for our, our fifth graders? All right, students, as you can see by this huge turnout, that we are extremely, extremely proud of you. And so I want to thank all our families out here for coming to support us and uh, today and then, of course, this whole year, because it's been quite a year. Uh, but these students are ready. They are ready. Hello, Susa. They are ready uh, for the next chapter of their lives um, and to transition to sixth grade. So can we get another round of applause? And so, uh, quickly, I want to thank Ms. Anderson, and I want to thank Ms. Little, and I want to thank the entire staff, and of course, all the families. But the most, most importantly, I want to thank our students. Um, I always tell them that they are the student leaders of the building as fifth graders, and uh, they have been such great role models this entire year for all of us. So I'm um, just extremely proud of them. And so now we're going to begin our ceremony here with our creed something that we are extremely proud of as well. And that'll lead into the pledge. Thank you, Ms. Anderson. So yes, if you would uh, please stand up, please stand up. Thank you. I think a couple people are back there. Let's have Ezekiel lead us, because he's did a great job the other day. Come on, Ezekiel, you can do it. I promise to be safe in what I do. All my actions and so should you. Be aware of others in every way and show respect throughout the day. Watch us on the foothills way. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. One, two, three. Go Okay, good morning, all the fifth grade families. Um, I am Stacy Anderson, one of our fifth grade teachers. And I have to read my notes because I can't hold anything in my brain anymore. <laughs> I have the opportunity to kind of share what's going on. So I'm gonna share some highs and lows of the school year. <laughs> um, I'm gonna start with the lows so we can finish positive. Um, one of the hardest things that was a low was Wi-Fi. For those of you who are ever remote, even for some of the weeks, um, we know there was all kinds of Sometimes kids wouldn't show up on their screens. Kind of a low as a teacher. <laughs> um, knowing how to use the technology that we were trying to use. Kind of a low, kind of a difficult ch challenge sometimes. Um, teachers not always being able to troubleshoot those problems in the moment and while we're trying to teach. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, making sure we're supporting all the kids, both in person and remotely, definitely a challenge. Um, in person challenge, kids would wear, we were all wearing feet clearly. That was a good challenge. Uh, well, following a bathroom schedule, how about that one kids? <laughs> kind of a low to have to have follow that um, and one of the biggest lows for me was not being able to see their smiles all year long under their masks um, so those are my lows but the highs kind of outweigh them for the most part we learned how to use empathy with one another we learned how to support one another and give extra attention where it was needed because we were all kind of going through it together. Uh, we got to meet, we met lots of pets, which was really fun, where we usually just get to hear about them, we actually saw them. Um, we got to see the space that they lived or worked any of the times they were remote. We saw lots of bunk beds, and we saw lots of LED lights in the background. <laughs> 
So that was kind of fun, getting to know them in that way. Uh, let's see. Um, one of the other highs that I wanted to share about one of my students was uh, early on, Belit daily. To, can I have lunch with the class? So I would turn the computer and face the class and they would talk to each other. She'd be up on the big screen and she'd be like, what's for lunch today, guys? <laughs> and it was just a great way to see that we could mingle even though she had to be online. Um, and then just all the support that the kids gave each other was absolutely incredible. So good things came out of it, even though it's been difficult. So there's my highs and lows. Mrs. Little, you ready? Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Little, for those of you that don't know me. Welcome, it's so good to see all of you, especially so many without masks on. We're not used to that yet. So good to see faces, so good to see our students' faces that felt comfortable taking their masks off. I told the kids I'd wear waterproof mascara and I didn't, so if I have black streaks running down my face today, you'll know why. Um, but as Mrs. Anderson said, they have all worked so hard this year, not only academically, but being the people they are and learning empathy and learning how to be flexible and learn new strategies for themselves as we navigated this pandemic. And I honestly believe that they are going to be sadly better for having to go through this because they've learned so much about just being humans and what we have to deal with. I've never dealt with a pandemic like this before, so I've learned a lot. The students have taught me so much this year. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do in their futures. Students, you have so much to look forward to going into middle school. You have choices in your classes. You can start exploring things that you may never even knew that you like to do. And try new things because you have so many more options coming up. Um, and you're going to have a blast. But you got to hang on tight because you're going to have some bumpy roads along the way too, right? You're going to go in next year, you're going to have seven teachers. They're all going to have different personalities and you're going to me mesh with some and maybe not with others. But you have learned so much on how to endure all of that. Um, I think that through our cell lessons with Miss Sterling this year, you've learned how to cope with so many different things. Remember those lessons. I think they're some of the most important things you learned this year. So remember, think about what would Miss Sterling do in this situation? You'll figure it out if you come up long, around, long, around hard times. Parents, you're looking at our future here. We have so many great students up here with so many good ideas and what they're going to do with their future. Students, you can do anything you put your mind to. We've got students here that want to be astronauts and scientists, engineers, gamers, hackers. <laughs> you know who you are. Um, baristas, teachers, and by the time these students graduate high school, there's going to be jobs we haven't even thought of yet. And they're going to learn those ways and do what they love to do because that's what they've learned how to do this year. Students, I hope you're off to an amazing summer. I know many of you are going to delve into great books and you're going to challenge yourselves on how fast you can fill out a multiplication table, maybe do great some great science experiments, and get ready for all the great things in your future. But seriously, whatever you do, remember, once a falcon, always a falcon. You have your wings, you're ready to spread them and soar into middle school and show them what great human beings you all are. Good luck. Keep in touch. You have people at Foothills that love you, want to help you, and we will always be here for you. So let's move on with the ceremony.
We are very organized, so don't judge. <laughs> exactly. Um, and if we botch any names, we are trying so hard not to. I just want you to know. No, she's going to be fine. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Little's class, give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, yeah, actually, before we start, this is going to be our opportunity for you all as families to take pictures, too. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to call out their name. They'll come forward to be with their teacher. Um, they'll get their packet of goodies, and um, then they're going to pose for a picture. So if that means you need to run, run to the front for your kiddo to take a picture, do it, because that's your opportunity. We'll, we'll pause for it, okay? All right. Good. All right. First up, Heidi Allen. Janaid Akil, who couldn't be with us today. Donovan Barrera. Ethan Bellacosa. And Mr. G. <laughs> Miles Betcher. Guadalupe Cabrera Espino, who is also not with us today. Alexandra Kalzensink. Avery Chavez. Preston Delosier. Dakota George. Susanna Kokotovic. Hazel Lopez. Griffin Manuel. Manuel. Nevea Mejia. Sheldon. <laughs> Al 
Alexander Stevens. Jack Summerfield. Chase Tillery. And finally, Kaya Underhill. Alima Baker. Layla Cameron. Sergio Castillo. Isaiah Cho. Riley Collins. Hopefully nobody had anywhere they had to go this morning. Haley Dominguez. Brooklyn Fathauer. No. Fathauer. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that wasn't the one I thought I'd mess up on. Trent Findlay. Vicente Garcia. Smile, dude. Hebrus G. I tried and tried and tried to get that right. Belen Hobbs Olivares, and she is not able to be with us today. Hickson Molina. Mason Morrison. Yeah, Mason. <laughs> Nevaeh Spear. She also was not able to be with us this morning.
Austin Stengel. Michaela Valdez. And Edwin Vargas Collins. to turn it over to Mr. Shapiro. Thank you. That's how we roll, see? Look at each other. Um, I don't know if you got a chance to see the bricks over there that were, we had a celebration uh, not too long ago, and it was awesome because you know, this is our 50th year. And uh, we had all kinds of, of people come back, um, and I know we have former students even sitting here today, of course, in Foothills. And so the point is that well, we have a time capsule, right, students? So we have a time capsule that is that first brick there that should be opened in 30 years. Uh, so it's 2050. Um, and I can just picture all the great successes these students are going to have in life, and, and I can picture them um, coming back in 30 years and, uh, and being proud of what they accomplished this year and the school and always being a Foothills Falcon. And I'll still be here as principal, by the way. Uh, but. Yeah. But anyway, um, just so proud of all of you. And so what I would like to do, I knew these students when I started at this school, they were in first grade. And uh, this is tough. Uh, in fact, I thought about putting my glasses on so I didn't start weeping like Lauren over there. Um, but this is tough. Uh, these students have come a long way. And so again, I'm so proud of them. And I can't wait to, to see what they, what they do in the future. So students, I would like to kind of end this with something that you have been recognized for, and that's our shout outs um, by the governor. And going back to that celebration we had, um, and student, these students are a big part of it, where you had the superintendent, new one, visit our school twice this year already, through all of this, within the first five weeks, uh, visited Foothills twice. We had a senator, we had the mayor, we had the school board president, and it's because they're talking about the great work we're doing at Foothills and, of course, these students right here as the student leaders. So extremely, extremely proud of you. We will always remember this year for a number of reasons, uh, but we did persevere. So with that said, students, can we do, I know I don't have my guitar on me, but I would like to just do our shout it out loud real quick. Can we do that? All right, so could you, you're all going to do it. So could you guys all stand up, please? So of course, the, we shouted out loud, you know, we were not able to have our morning meetings in person this year, but we still did them. And again, um, being so respectful, the trash in the background is a nice touch to this, by the way. But uh, being so respectful, they continue to do shout outs, and of course, as leaders, they always volunteered, and the shout outs are recognizing teachers and other students for great work that they're doing. It uh, could be respect, could be hard work, dedication. And so the shout out, you know, I'm gonna give you on behalf of all our staff is that you guys are just absolutely amazing, all of you. We are so, so proud of you. Okay, so we're gonna give two huge claps, let's do that. And then what we do is of course we count to four. We go one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna all say shout it, shout it, shout it out loud. Can we do that? Students, are you ready? Okay. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four. Perfect. All right, let's give a big round of applause. And uh, I was just at the Green Mountain High School ceremony, which lasted three hours, by the way. But it was beautiful at Red Rocks, and I was on the stage, and of course, I, I got to see some of my former students and so on walk across that stage, and I know that I'll be watching you walk across the stage uh, one day, too, as seniors, because it's going to go by quickly. Um, but the point is, the school board president, Susan Harmon, uh, she always says that you know she has to, a part of her job on behalf of Jefferson County Schools, is accept the students when they graduate. Uh, so I'm going to say, as principal of Foothills Elementary, and for Je on behalf of Jefferson County Public Schools, 
I accept this class, and you guys are ready for middle school. Are you ready? You are ready. All right. We're good. We're ready. And Miss Anderson is going to do some announcements uh, before we, you guys can start your summer, okay? Very proud of you, thank you. Okay, so um, we just, as you are mingling for a few minutes, once the kiddos are officially finished, we're gonna have them come to you because it's, it'll be way too crowded up here if we have you all come up here. So we'll have them find you um, and then each teacher has a check a checkout that we're gonna have a parent or guardian sign off. I zoned out for a second. Sorry. <laughs> Whew. I knew they were official. <laughs> All right. So on that note, how about if our brand new sixth graders please stand up and let's give them all a round of applause. Happy summer, we're 